I have a confession to make. I'm not from California. I wasn't born here and I wasn't raised here. But where I came from is not really important. The stars at night are big and bright. Yeah. California was the vibe, you know, feeling the breeze and the air and the sun and your skin, you know, that kind of shit, you know. So we packed our house and packed our dogs and we moved to California. California, here I come. Right back where I started from. And I gotta say, our timing was excellent. Excellent. Heightened states of emergency across the nation as a number of cases soars above 3,000. Another day, another story about people leaving California. That being said, I do actually have roots here in California. Half of my family actually settled here, a fact that was strangely kept from me. Which brings me to this photo. Well, wait a minute. It's actually this photo. We'll come back to that in a second. This is my great-grandfather Jack. And I wondered, can I figure out where this photo was taken? It was taken all the way back in 1959. How am I supposed to find this? Those buildings can't still be there some 65 years later. And how was I sure the picture was taken in 1959? Yeah, I'm cheating a little bit here. You see, it's written on the back. And I also kind of know where it was taken. Lake Henshaw. And as luck would have it, there happens to be a Lake Henshaw here in Southern California. How fortuitous. But could I find the exact location where this picture was taken? And maybe even go there today? All with just one old grainy photo? There's only one photo to use. There it is again, floating down. The first thing I need to do is clean up the picture. Try and see some more detail. Hello, Hal, do you read me? Affirmative. I read you. And that's where our old friend, artificial intelligence, comes in. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't do that. Yeah, I think you can. First thing we want to do is colorize this picture. And we're going to go to this website right here. Link in the description. And the nice thing about this website is the first one's free. So you can do this too. From here, you're going to want to go ahead and select your photo. Then you can scan through all the different colorized options and pick the one you like best. I've always found that base looks the best, so that's what we're going to go with. Side note, for some odd reason I get better results taking a picture with my phone versus the photo that I scanned. It's probably just a garbage scanner, but your miles may vary. So we're going to use that one. Then you just click HD and no logo to save your photo. Oh yes! Download to Papa. So for now, we have a pretty nice image, nice color, but we need to take it one step further and see if we can enhance it just a little bit more. For that, we're going to use a site called openart.ai. And again, it's free the first time you use it, but you got to pay after that. Link in the description. Hey there. So, uh, it's been 24 hours. Got my money? Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is click on Edit Image. 
Then you can just drag and drop the image, in this case, Great Granddad Jack, into the browser. And here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just crop out the white bars. Remember, this is the picture I took with my cell phone. So we'll just do a quick little crop. A little there, a little there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, there you go. Pretty satisfied with that. I'll click the check mark to save that. And then you're going to go up to the top and click on Upscale. It'll load up in the left pane. Now, a quick word of warning here. I always use Precise Upscale. There are two other options, and if you use them, it will allow the AI to use its imagination. And I'll show you a great example of that here in a second. And this will take about a minute. And there we go. We're going to click on it. And you can move the little slider back and forth and see the changes. Now, in this screen, it's not going to look like a huge difference. But I promise you, when you download it and compare it to the image you started with, it's night and day. And to save it, we're just going to click on over here on the right, the download as, the white button. I'm just going to use JPEG. And that's it. Let's take a look. Tired of looking at the same picture yet? How many more times can we use that photo? <laughs> Maybe we'll put them on a roller coaster. <laughs> Maybe we'll send them to Paris. <laughs> or maybe we'll make them friends with Big George Foreman. Yeah. So real quick, remember when I said earlier the AI can have an imagination? Well, here's a photo of my grandparents I uploaded a little while back, and I let AI go to town to try to upscale it, and this is what happened. It turned them Asian. What the hell just happened? Spoiler alert. It wasn't that hard. And before you get started, I'm well aware this is an easy one. A layup. A softball. Run! Like myself, you've probably spent hours watching these guys perform miracles with a photo and no details. This, this isn't for you. Cool. <laughs> this is for the rest of us who've never seen this before. We good? Okay, let's break out the map. No. Google Maps. First thing we want to do is go ahead and switch it over to the satellite view. That'll come in handy a little bit later. Lucky for us, there's only one Lake Henshaw and it's in California. So let's take a peek. So since we're going to be using the 3D mode in Google Maps, we're going to need a good reference image once we get down to ground level. So what I did is I took the original image and I cropped out Granddad Jack. And I'll show you how I did that really fast. Again, using Canva, free tool, it's actually pretty effective at removing the subject or the background in this case. I just used Magic Eraser and... Voila. And the picture actually gives us three fairly significant clues. One, it's taken in front of a road. Two and three, it's in front of mountains. And the lake. 
and the old buildings in the background, so that should make this fairly easy to find. A quick glimpse at the map shows that there are no roads on the right side of the map anywhere near the lake, so we can go ahead and eliminate one whole side. Somewhat graciously, Google Maps has already provided us three points of interest to start our search. Up here we have the Henshaw Scenic Vista Observation Site, the Lake Henshaw Resort, and the Lake Henshaw Viewpoint. Any one of those three could be where we're going. We'll go ahead and start with the most obvious choice, the Vista Point. So we'll zoom in here and adjust the map in 3D. See if we can't zoom in. Well, that looks like it might have potential. Mountains in the background, lake. Let's go ahead and zoom all the way in to Street View. And we get a better look and yeah, that's not going to work. The elevation seems way too high. And there are definitely no structures. Eh, I think we can go ahead and axe this one. Pretty sure that observation deck there is new, but this area is just too high in general, so. Strike. Since we're already over here, we'll just follow this road. See if there's anything else that looks like it might fit the bill. Again, the elevation just feels way too high over here and I'm not seeing any structures. What do we have over here? Maybe a marina of some sort? Nope, that's most definitely a dam. Not thinking that's it. Again, not seeing any structures. The view doesn't match up. Yeah, going to street view here. This isn't it. You're wrong, you're wrong. So let's zoom back out. All right. Let them do in here. Let's follow the main road close to the lake. Let's see if there's anything here that looks like it might match up. Uh, what do we have here? Like a there's some structures, a road, the lake. This is promising. Can we zoom in a little bit? It lines up. Got the lake in the background, a road, structures. Unfortunately, no street view here. So that's not going to work. Survey says! Pretty close to the dam, though. Really not much I can see. If we go back to this road farther back and do a street view. We have structures, but those don't look like they were built in 1959 and the, the yard or whatever you want to call it is elevated. So that's probably not it. What are you taking stupid pills? Come on. All right, zoom back out. Let's see here. Anything else? We're looking for structures near the road. What do we have here? Hmm. All right, let's go to street view. See if I can see any structures. Again, too much elevation. There's hills, but we do have some structures near the road and those look promising. Again, lake in the background, mountains. Get there faster. This looks very promising. Let's zoom back out and see if we can't get a closer view. We have two structures with a lake and mountains in the background. See if we can't zoom in here. Go to street view. And I think we're right on the money. We've got the two structures, the mountains and the lake in the background. Amazingly enough, looks like the same two structures probably have been rebuilt since then, but in the same location as 1959, I think this is it. 
Let's see if we can zoom back a little bit and match up the picture a little bit more closely since we're standing in a parking lot of the Lake Henshaw Resort, which obviously makes the most sense. Nope, we're on the other side of the road in the picture. And let's move it back. Set the camera right in the parking lot. And there you have it. Eureka. Compare it to the original picture. Two buildings, mountains, lake. There's the lake, there's the mountains. Amazingly enough, the same two buildings. We have a winner. My boy. You won! You did it! You did it! I knew you would! I just knew you would! So there it is. I was able to take an old, faded photo, colorize it, and clean it up with some kind of sorta free AI tools. Then, with absolutely zero help, hashtag sarcasm, I was able to find the exact location of where the photo was taken all the way back in 1959. Pretty cool, huh? One more thing. Lake Henshaw's not that far away, relatively speaking, for Southern California. Let's take a trip. That'll take forever. Not if we do a 1980s montage. very familiar about all this. Uh, oh, there it is. You're still here? It's over. Go home. <laughs>